And by the time we are done with this tutorial, you are going to be able to create branded maps just like this one in a simple and free way. Yeeha! In our last video, we talked about the power of branding for small businesses, both in a blog post and in a YouTube video. You will find links to both in the description. Today, I'm going to show you a free method to brand a map, changing the look of Google Maps to perfectly match the colors of the companies you are designing for, helping them elevate their branding even more with this simple and free method. Welcome to Ubuntu Productions. Hello, beautiful people. My name is Aaron Blanco Tejedor, and I am transmitting from Corpo, a small island in the Finnish archipelago. As I said, today we are going to completely brand a map with the colors of your client's branding. Because, you know, every time I add a screenshot with the default Google Maps styles to a web page I'm designing, I am like, ah, oh, that's ugly. Here there are some examples of what I'm talking about. Mira que cosa más linda, que llena de gracia, que herida rabiosa, la pica que aboca, la quiche le buca, la bella mamur. For this tutorial, we are going to use the brand of Ovo Creatives. It's a company I have been working with. I did the website design for them. I also built it for them over here. You can see. And when the map is ready, we will paste it here. We will imagine that this is a section on their web page and we will paste it over here the final result. Make sure you have a document with the visual representation of the colors you are working with and the hex code attached to them that you can copy easily and paste in Snazzy Maps. Make sure that those colors doesn't have the hack attached to them because Snazzy Maps field, color field has already this hack attached to them and it will only allow you to paste like numbers. And also make sure that you have Google Maps open in the company that you are working with. So to start with, we will go to the colors and we will have open Snazzy Maps. Uh, the link will be in the description. First thing you want to do is to create an account. I already have one, it's free, and you will go to create a style. In order to make your life easier, I recommend you to start from a default style. Why? Because the other three, light, dark and monochrome, have already styles applied to them. And sometimes you are trying to get to the style that you want and you are going to find that you are fighting against the styles that are already there and it can get a little bit confusing. That's why I recommend to start with the default. But before we start customizing our branded map, I want to share two simple tips that are going to help you massively to avoid a lot of frustration and to be much more time efficient. The first one is that those layers that has, have a style applied to them appear with a dot. In that way, you will find really easy those layers that already have a style and with this icon over here, you can really easily also reset them. And the second tip is that when you are searching which layer affect that part of the map that you want to change, let's say the water in this case, we will go to the layer that we think that affect that part of the map and we will change the color to custom color. When you change it to custom color, the color red is picked and visually, you can see really easily if the layer that you think that changed that part of the map is the one that really does it. The second thing that I am going to recommend is that as soon as you are inside the program, you will zoom out and you will find the exact location that you are going to be working with. Why? Because different places, of course, have different 
topographical element and a map a style that looks really nice in one area it can look completely different in another area so you will go first of all you will go to google maps you will see where the company is located exactly and over here you will find the approximate area that you are going to be working with once we have that, we can start styling. And the first thing I want to do, because it's the easiest one, is to change the color of the river. And this river, I think we will use a, this light green or gray color over here. We will go to Snazzy Maps, and this layer is easy to find because it's the only one that it says water. Every time you go to a feature, the elements layer is divided in geometry and labels and in this case we don't want to change the labels we want to change the geometry so we will go there we will go to custom color and paste our color over there we see we have changed the color but actually for some reason it's not the color that i wanted to put over there it was the pink now we get the color that i was thinking then I want to change the rest of the streets and the parks. I want to change them to the darker blue. So I'm going to pick the darker blue over here. And now you are going to see myself go a little bit into a trial and error mode. This is normal. I don't know exactly what each of these layers represent in the map. So normally you have to guess. And in this case, I guess that this is landscape man-made maybe, maybe as we said before we will go to geometry and we will go to custom color and yes it was that one so we will paste this color over here and now it has become dark but we still have the parks over here that are green sometimes you might want to leave them green because if the place that you are working with one of them uh, elements in the map that makes very clear where this place is located maybe you want to keep the green or at least highlight it with another color from the brand but in this case we will make it dark blue so in this case it's a point of interest and it's a park so we will go to the geometry again and we will change it to custom color and paste this one over here and things are coming about quite nicely uh, what else we want to do first of all i will remove basically all the labels around just to make it much more clean because then afterwards we are going to place our own custom marker so we want to clean as much as we can and in that sense we are going to be going to the different points of interest and instead of changing the geometry we are going to remove the labels and you see as soon as we click in off those attractions are gone especially those other business we will take away and maybe we are going to left be left with some other elements like a school or a church that can be like an easy way to like find your place in the map i will to remove this complex sport complex Perfect. And just to make sure, I will go to place medical government just to make sure that when I zoom out, there is no like extra elements that we need to work with. Over here, we see that we have some pink. I will try also to put that uh, dark blue. And I guess that's medical, but I'm not sure. Yes, that was medical. And let's see if changing place of workship changed this one or no. This one is, I guess, is a school. Custom color. Yes, perfect. That was a school. Very well. We will zoom in again. But over here we have a lot of land that is not uh, green. And I guess that's landscape, but instead of man-made, is natural. And we will go to the geometry again and once again change that color. And now we have a map that starts to be much more cleaner. 
One thing I want to do is to make the streets a little bit thinner. I will keep them white because it contrasts quite well, but I will make them thinner. And in that way, we are we are going to learn another feature from this map. Uh, we will go to... Mm -mm. We will go to road and we will go to local, I think, in order to make sure that is the thing that we want to change. We go again to custom color and we see that it was not the labels, of course, but if we change the geometry, it's exactly what we want to change. But we don't want to change the color. We want to change only the stroke. And you will see that there is a one point stroke applied to them. So we will just tune it down and it makes them a little bit thinner. That's what we are searching for. But these ones that are not local are still a little bit too thick. We will go to arterial and we will do the same thing. We will go to stroke and we will uh, deactivate it. Or we also could go to off, I guess. Perfect. Things are starting to look quite nice. There is one last element that I want to work with. These big roads, which are highway, uh, are normally a good way like to find a place in a map. If we go to Google Maps, we see that already in Google Maps, they contrast quite a lot and it makes quite easy like to find the company around these elements. So I want to keep it like contrasty, but I want to change the color. So we will go back to Snazzy Maps and I will go to Highway and I will go to uh, the fill and I will make it white that doesn't contrast very much but I will make the stroke also white and I will make the stroke instead of one we will try with two and instead of two we will try with three and now they are starting to be more contrasty because they are gaining weight that's up to you to decide if you want to go with this color. We could also try, for example, this one over here. Let's see how it works. In that case, if we want to go for that one, I guess we will have to reduce the stroke to don't make them so thick. Or another thing I could try, as you see, this is a lot of trial and error. I'm not sure of anything, is to put that darker red or Bordeaux, Bordeaux uh, as a stroke. And that makes it much more like contrasty and easy to see. I think we are done with the styling. What we have left, we have left to save this style you put a name and you just go to save style once you have your style saved what do you need to do you need to build a map as soon as you click into build a map first thing you can do is to choose a style we will go to my styles and we will find the one that we are working with in this case is Ovo Creatives version number two. Again, we are centered around New York, so we will apply, a, apply, apply this style and we will go to size and location and search for a location and we will go to Ovo Creatives. There we go. Now we are centered again in the place we want. Once we are centered and once we have the zoom that we want to work with, this is not very important. This zoom, you can change it anytime you want with in the map itself. You will apply the changes and we will focus on the markers. You add your first marker. You call it whatever you want. Marker in this case. Again, you will have to search for the location. There we are. And as soon as we get the location, we see that a marker has been added. This is the marker by default. Google 
uh, Google Maps, the full marker. I normally change it because once we are branding the map, why not to brand completely the marker? You could do a styled marker, but uh, they are maybe slightly better because you can change, for example, the size. But I don't think that is really so much better. So we will make a custom marker. So the first thing you need to do is to upload your custom marker. And we have here the marker, we just, just drag and drop it here. And we see the first that uh, the first thing that we see is that the marker size is the size of the image that you have uploaded. So we will reduce this, for example, to 100 pixels and 90 pixels, for example, to see how it looks. Perfect. Or maybe a little bit bigger, 120, 110. There we go. If for any reason you need to fine tune the location of the marker, you will just like move it a little bit over here and a little bit in the Y. Perfect. If we apply the changes, now we have the marker. And once we are here, we can save this map. Uh, Ovo Creatives is the name of the map and we will save it. There we are. Once we come back to this map, we have the marker already in place and you can add more markers if your map needed. If, for example, the company you are working with has different locations, you can add different markers. The last thing we need to do is to enter full screen and do a screenshot of this. I know there are ways to download the map in high resolution, for example, if you want it for print or you want it for like marketing materials. But for our use case, it's enough with a screenshot. We will try to optimize the screenshot as big as we can. And then we will exit the map and I will go over here. And as I said, I will paste it here. And we have this branded map. Uh, if that would be like the real section in the web page, I will, of course, like download the image, crop it with Photoshop in the site that I want, optimize it, and then down upload it to the web page. But in this case, just to make my life easier, we will do it easy. So, what do you think? With almost no time and with a free tool, we have created this branded map that our customers are going to appreciate a lot and our own designs and the web pages that we design or that we build will stand out. And that's what I call a super win-win situation. Yeah! And that's all for today. I hope this tutorial was super helpful for you. I hope you are having a beautiful day and remember that only by helping each other, only by loving each other, we can together create a more kind and beautiful work to live in. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.